and final heat in the men's 1500 metres T54. Marcel Hoog, who needs no introduction, going from lane seven. Uh, Hassani of the United Arab Emirates will go from lane eight. Inside him, there will be Marcel Hu, the championship record holder from four years ago. Daniel Romancic competed in para swimming and triathlon along with wheelchair basketball and para ice hockey in the past as well. Masayuki Higuchi, eighth in the Paralympics last year. Yassine Gabi of Tunisia didn't finish in 2015. And a disappointing 2016 Paris. Lu Cheng Ming, fourth two years ago, looking to get into the medals. And Jake Lappin, the 24 year old from Essendon. Illness restricted him at the 2016 Paris. And Alexandra Dupont of Canada, Commonwealth Games 2014, bronze medalist and 13th back in 2015. Brent Lakatos has already won the first heat in this, holds the world record set just the last month in Knottville. Will take something to beat that in those championships, but stranger things have happened. And away they get to Duport, Lappin, Lou, Garby, Higuchi, Romanchak, Marcel Hoog and Ohansi. And getting out to an early lead, it's the Chinese athlete Lu Cheng Ming who takes up an early advantage. Marcel Hu, the silver bullet, looking to improve on what for him was a disappointing 2015 championships. Not so bad in the Paralympics in the year just gone. Marcel Hu, he won the 800 metres and the marathon gold in Rio. And he'll be looking to improve as we go through this competition. But at present, as they go around to finish the first 300 metres, it's Lu Cheng Ming of China who leads them out. Yeah, by winning the 800 and the marathon in Rio, it was Marcel Hoog's first ever Paralympic titles. Lu bringing them away, the man who has two Paralympic crowns and four world titles to his name. Hoog neatly tucked in just on his outside. No real dramas for either of them so far. On the inside, Alexandre Dupont of Canada. We've seen his wife Ilana already in action on this London track during London 2017. But they're sedately going around Higuchi behind them. And Al Hazani of the United Arab Emirates tucked behind the top three right at the back. Daniel Romancha of the US. Mainly marking everybody at the moment, but he's never generally had major successes at global championships. But it's still Lou leading him out, but Marcel who never far away. Two to go. And I think Lou will quite like this. The man who's uh, at the last two Paris has been part of the 4x400 China winning gold medal relay teams because if it stayed at that pace, he'd have a nice little 400 to finish with. But they picked it up a little bit at the moment. Marcel Hu there just kept him around to take the wheel, uh, the back wheel that is, of Lu Cheng Ming. But on the inside there, Alexandra Dupont, he wouldn't want to get himself caught in there because it would be very difficult to get out. But it remains those three as we go around with around 200 metres remaining on this lap. Lu Cheng Ming leads. Marcel Hoog with Alexandra Dupont in there as well, but they're all quite neatly packaged in at the moment. There's no real people who are falling off the back, and the pace all of a sudden quickens with Marcel Hoog there dropping back into third place. And they come round with Lu Cheng Ming and Alexandra Dupont, and around the outside there it's Yassin Garbi, who didn't finish back in 2015. He's in third place. Yeah, major movement coming, really interesting. Alazani's made a big move as well in his first major championship by the looks of it. Lou uh, bringing them out, Hook tucked up nicely in second place. Very, very strong movement from them all, and Yassim Garbi of Tunisia in third position right now. Jake Lappin is up in the fourth, who was eliminated in the opening round of all the events he entered in in Rio. But he's improving, he was ill during that time as well, very important to report. But leading them home into the closing straight, it's Lu Cheng Ming for China, not for long. Here comes Marcel Hu, he's bossing it at the right time. Garby's going to make it as well, and Lappin, I think, is going to come into third place. He's done it, he has done it. Lu controlling the race for so long, and then he gets wiped out down into fourth. 
and there's only one fastest loser across the three heats. Marcel Hoog, how about that for experience? 3.12.9. Sort of race that he could win in his sleep, in truth. And Lou must feel very annoyed that having led for a long time and leading with about 70 to go, that suddenly he'd be overtaken left, right and centre. Garby getting up there and Jake Lappin also. Well, Lu Ching Ming, I said when the pace was a little bit slow around the uh, eight, 900 metre mark, that he'd be happy because he would be able to come home with that 400 metre pace, but he just drops off, doesn't he? The last 50 or 60 metres, a great effort from Lappin. Takes him over with around 20 metres to go, holds his form. And it looks as though Lu may have even been beaten for fourth place. He might have even finished in fifth, which would certainly mean that he's gone. That's exactly what's happened as well. Higuchi's been given fourth place by 200. It's not the front of the tyre, by the way. It's the uh, it's the middle of the wheel that's uh, that the centre is on. The timing centre is on. So Hug, Garby, Lapin, the three to qualify for the final automatically. Higuchi in fourth, Lou in fifth, Romanchuk sixth. But how about that for dominating a race in the final 80 metres for Marcel Hoog? And here are the 10 to qualify for the final, and Sachin Congen, the fastest loser, Kizaro and Balde, joint fastest.